we are forecasting something like 10% of shared mobility in terms of number of sales. So Francois, you've been here several times throughout the year, so maybe you would like to talk about the five major trends that have been in the automotive sector this year. It's always a pleasure to be here. Thank you for inviting me. Well, five trends for the automotive sectors. Yes, uh, I would say uh, new consumer demand. I would say a high competition. I would talk about uh, electrification, automation, and potential growth for the sector. And we've definitely seen electric vehicles thrive throughout 2016. So what are the main factors that are in favor of electric vehicles? Well, I think that much technical progress was done on these vehicles. Uh, and this technical progress means uh, reduction of cost. Some experts are talking about the possibility to have a price or a cost of $100 per kilowatt uh, hour for batteries. Uh, today we would be more around 200 So you see that we can have the cost for batteries and this would be then helping the automotive sector to sell at a good price this technology. But I think also that regulations are helping. Uh, having a, a, a clear uh, understanding of the obligations uh, when you put this technology on the market is probably helping the industry and also helping the consumers to buy them. So we've spoken about electric vehicles. So what, are the, what is the situation currently in regards to automotive driving? With regard to automotive driving, I would say also that technical progress is done, but not as quick as people would wish. You know that in the new trends, uh, people are dreaming of uh, fully autonomous mobility to reduce the number of cars on streets, etc., to address congestion or even pollution. Well, I would say that the technical progress is not yet there. Um, and if we have a look at the projections, serious uh, analysis done and presented in our forums, I would say that we should expect something like a market share of 15% of automated autonomous driving vehicles by 2030. So in your opinion, will the automotive sector be affected by new consumer demands? Consumer demand is affecting many different sectors, including the automotive sector. I would say that the connectivity is what is going to influence most this sector. Young people, the millenniums, are really demanding uh, new things around the car in terms of shared mobility, services in the car, Wi-Fi access, so we expect that there will be changes uh, in this sector. One of the changes will be related to the shared mobility, but we don't expect a big disruption. According to the analysis presented in our forums, we are forecasting something like 10% of shared mobility in terms of number of sales. But we see it very positively because the numbers of kilometer driven with these 10% vehicles will be high, and we expect that they will cover 30% of the general mobility need. And finally, are you expecting this sector to be disrupted in any way by Silicon Valley? Well, the Silicon Valley is of course really pushing the sector and this is very interesting. But what we see is that the rest of the industry is of course adapting and progressing. And when I say that, you will probably understand the automotive sector in the EU or in Japan. But actually we see also the Chinese manufacturers really doing progress uh, in these new mobility systems and offers. Well, Francois, thank you so much for coming in today and sharing your insights with us. Thank you very much. That's all from us here in the Geneva studios, but if you did like this interview, then do like and subscribe on dugascopy.tv.